Welcome back. A nightmare for a local woman. Her ceiling leaking in several rooms worries it could collapse at any second now. She says the landlord has ignored the problem for long enough. So she reached out to 19 troubleshooters. Katie Wilson live in Warrensville Heights tonight with the answers she's uncovered. Katie. Chris, it's hard to imagine what this woman has to go through. She dreads every time it rains and sometimes has to dump out multiple buckets of water a day. That would be hard on anyone, let alone a 78 year old woman. Where do you sleep? Which side? More to the wall. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Just and set it this way. Right. In case the, feel, the ceiling falls in. Sandra Thompson has had to change how she sleeps to minimize the chances of her getting hurt. She worries her ceiling will collapse on her, all because of this. A leaking hole, sometimes filling up this bucket three times a day. Every workout. time it rains, <laughs> I get nervous. Believe it or not, she says this has been going on on and off for three years. As of last week, it's not the only room this is a problem. So this is also another leaking ceiling? This is the room her daughter sleeps in. Luckily, she wasn't home at the time it started, but it caused this damage. It worries me. I mean, she sleeps pretty hard. And I mean, with her, if that fell down on her and with no help from management here, mm -hmm. you know, anything could have happened with her to her. She says she's reached out to her property managers countless times, showing us her call log in her phone. There's Clarkwood Green three times. And while she's been promised someone will fix her ceiling, it hasn't happened. So she called the 19 troubleshooters to get some answers. We started at the front office. No one answered, but we did see someone close the blinds. We then tried calling. The destination voice mailbox is full. And couldn't even leave a message. The difficulty reaching these property managers certainly consistent with what Thompson had to say. You can bet the 19 troubleshooters will stay on top of them until we get answers and Thompson gets help. Thompson also told us that the city of Warrensville Heights sent out an inspector who deemed her apartment unsafe to live in. Now, we reached out to the city ourselves to try and get that confirmed, as well as ask them if these property managers have been cited, but we have not heard back. If anything changes, we will update our story on cleveland19.com. Live in Warrensville Heights, Katie Wilson, 19 News. Now